Welcome to CSS Hero version 3.1. Today we're talking about the inspector, which is a tool to refine and edit your CSS code. Look up here. This button right here in the, uh, is the inspector. We click that and we can see all the code that's being added to the site. Now we can add directly from the inspector. So if you click right here on an element, you can click add and all of a sudden now we're writing CSS directly to that specific area. Let me make it ridiculous so it's obvious. Line height 12. And so now, okay, look, we're obviously, we're obviously messing with this and here's all the code that we just added. If you take one section out, boom, there it is. And that is all being uh, also brought to the visual area. So if we click over to the visual area and then we click on this guy, and then we click typography, we can see, okay, there's the color that we added in the code, and then here's the font size, or here's the line height. We, uh, we reset the font size. So, uh, so it's really easy. If you want to work in code, if this is an awesome feature that we, that we added, and it gives you just so much more control. If you want to work in full code mode by using only the inspector, you're totally welcome to do that. Um, this can be really helpful because there's no need to set up FTP or set up your code editor and do all that, uh, that stuff. Also, this code editor supports less leaner style sheets. So if you know how to do that, this is going to be a lot easier and it renders that, that less uh, live, which is one of the biggest updates here. Let's get rid of this section here and we can see it jump back to normal. There we go. And now we're going to take a look uh, up here. We're going to click this guy and we're going to add this menu link uh, to the code here. And I'm going to say color green. And now we take a look at the code. Now, how come home isn't green? It's because it's getting an extra layer of information, current menu item. If we click on this, we can see current menu item A. And if this doesn't show up, uh, you can also right click and click only this. And that really targets just that one very, very specific thing. Um, but we, as we click add, now we can change this to color blue. And there we go. Now we've affected uh, that guy. Now come back to the visual editor and let's take a look at this. Okay. So we made all the links green, but except for the current menu item, which is blue. If we go over to the visual editor and we click on home and then we click, click on typography, you can see it says green. Now this is not incorrect. This is actually really helpful. Okay. So these, these right here, it's saying that all these links, main navigation, UL, LI, A, all these links up here are green. So how the heck do we change this blue? Well, that's why, that's why you use the right click, right? So you right click and click only this. And now when we go to typography, now here it's focused on current menu item instead of just focused on all of the links. Okay. So if you were looking at the code, you would be able to see, oh, there we go. That's why that's different. So uh, please keep that in mind when you're editing directly to the code, you can see things a little bit easier that might not be um, perfectly clear when you go to typography, but also check this area up here to see exactly what you're targeting. If you click on, on this type of link and you say, well, no, it's, 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 it's blue. How come it, it, it says green? Look up here and double check what's going on and you might want to right click and then click only this. Now, one special feature we have in the inspector is that there's now an export area for the CSS or the project. Now you can see you can import the project. So if you export the project here in another, on another site or in another area, you can then import that same stuff in really, really easily. Or if you just want to copy the CSS, give that a click and the CSS copies straight to clipboards. So you can take it wherever you want. So, uh, this is very flexible for you to get information in and out. If you click project, you can see that that downloads the JSON file that you can then import. Now within the inspector itself, there's some features to make it a little bit easier for you. Obviously we can change the font size bigger or smaller down here. Also, if you want to have a different theme, a different look, you can use any of these, whatever you like the most, whatever, uh, whatever looks the best to you, whatever makes it easier for you and choose those. And also we can detach the editor. If you click up here to detach the editor, we can move this anywhere we want. And then also look at this button that was created. This will dock it at the very bottom. We click this guy. And now, you know, if we, if we want to have a more wide area to work with, we can put all of our information down here. So it's a little bit easier to work with. We can also choose to uh, float it again. And then if we click up here to attach the editor, there it goes and it's back.
Now let's say that you want to uh, work with media queries and give your website a little bit of a different look based on we know what size people are looking at it. Let's say when it's this size that we want this font to be bigger. Change the line height a little bit. Okay, so this right here is being written only to that specific uh, that specific size screen. If we click over to the inspector, we can see, oh, there we go. And we've actually got um, some other areas that we can add code directly in. So when, it, when the screen is this size, we can have this specific code running. And because we have access to the inspector, we can move this around however we see fit to make the most sense to solve our problems. So there's so many features added that will hopefully save you time and make it easier for you to get up and running. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.